And so how do we assess? There's really three main tools we can use. Horizontal analysis, vertical analysis, and ratio analysis. Horizontal analysis, we're just seeing one company and we're comparing to our performance over time. And so the value of this is seeing if our revenue is going up over time, if our expenses are going down over time, and we're seeing the percent change over time. And then we can compare that percent change potentially to uh, other companies, right? So we're always finding a percent change so we can compare to other companies. The reason for this is if I'm uh, a consulting firm and I make $1 million a year, but I want to compare it to a company that makes a billion dollars a year, I, I can't do that with numbers, right? That their business is so much larger. But what I can do is compare it with percentages. And so we'll go over why that makes sense uh, for how we can compare best practices and make sure our companies are on track. So that's comparing a, a company's financial condition over time is a horizontal analysis. Um, vertical analysis is comparing it as a percentage against a percent of base amount. So uh, marketing departments generally do this. It's not a best practice for marketing, but for marketing departments might say, you are allowed to have uh, no more than 10% of total sales in marketing budget. And so that's comparing a financial condition to a base amount. So we might look at Apple and Microsoft and determine who spends more on advertising or marketing or selling expenses. And we can see who has a more aggressive sales strategy. Or if it's our own company, we can determine if we're sell spending enough or too little on marketing and selling expenses. So we'd be comparing it, not over time, but as a percentage of a, a, a larger bucket. And then ratio analysis. So there's these key ratios, and this will be what the majority of, the, uh, of this section of the final will be on, is memorizing your ratios. And so these are measuring key relationships between final, financial statement line items um, in order to make comparisons with other companies. And so this is stuff like quick ratio that we're gonna talk about today, acid test ratio. Um, but what, what most people would think about as most common is price earnings ratio or uh, profit margin, profit ratio. So, uh, or, or profitability. So that's taking these key terms, these key formulas that everyone knows how to calculate um, after they've learned, after they've taken you know, their college business education uh, and then using them to compare against other companies in order to determine key factors. Key factors being liquidity, solvency, profitability, um, and, and so forth, which we're gonna go over in detail today. So these are our three tools, right? Horizontal, we're looking across time. Vertical, we're comparing against uh, a, a larger bucket, either total sales or total expenses, revenue, net sales, and looking at individual line items against that bucket. And then ratio, looking at key indicators of a business. But we can also think of it as almost a manager, management dashboard. 